and welcome back to FS22 and today we're going to have a look at the best way to spread lime with precision farming. Let's roll the intro and get to work. I haven't done a precision farming video in a while basically because I've not really had a topic to cover. Um, but one of the things that came up a lot when I was doing the introductory type videos was just how much lime that you need to use uh, with precision farming, particularly at the start. Um, now Giants have updated things, so this is a new field which I've just brought and brought the soil map for. And the lime is okay, literally it says it's okay. It's not, you know, it's not as bad as it was. Um, when precision farming released but it, you know, if you've got a big farm you do need to use quite a lot of lime so I am going to show you what I think is the best way to spread lime with precision farming um, right here we just have the base game breedle it's the biggest breedle because we're going to get through quite a lot of lime probably and I'm just doing this one to show you a baseline of what it looks like to spread a lime on the field with a normal spreader and then we're going to have a look at what I think is the best way to spread lime with precision farming and it actually works in the base game as well um, and if you watch my greenlands let's play you will have seen me doing this already uh, so i am just going to time lapse this first bit because it's just me spreading lime on a field with the base game lime spreader um, but yeah we, i just want to establish a baseline of how much lime do you need to cover this field to get it to a perfect value um, my driving may not be perfect if you're here expecting perfect driving you are on the wrong YouTube channel if you're a regular to the channel you'll probably be commenting about how bad my driving normally is but anyway yeah I'm just going to get time lapse getting this done and then I'll be back with you to show you what I think is the best way to uh, spread line <music> running down the last row here um, thankfully we've not run out of lime and that that is a change from how giants start maps with the update to precision farming that um, you start with more nitrogen and more uh, more lime so which is cool because sometimes it was awful I mean, actually saying that this field only has 25 kilograms of nitrogen in it so that's not awesome but I think it's better than it was and that's us done. Uh, so I'm just going to make note of the fact that we have 12,164 litres left. And when I reload the game, I will work out how much we used. Because what I'm going to do now is uh, quit out of the game. And then we're going to have a look at what I think is the best option for spreading lime. So I will be right back. So I have reloaded the game. I did not save it because we don't want, didn't want to change the field. Um, and we are now in the McCormick, which is not so relevant. We are using the Yan Lancer Maximus 1200. And this thing is just an amazingly efficient lime spreader. Um, so it only has a 12 meter working width. It holds 12,000 liters of lime. And to do the field with the base game breedle, we used 6,786 liters of lime. Uh, and if we use the same amount, when we finish this field, we should have about 5,214 liters left in the Yan Lancer Maximus. This is available on ModHub. I believe it is available on all platforms and I will put the link for it below. Did not check if it was available on all platforms, but I'm pretty sure it is. And in my opinion, this is the best lime spreader in the game, particularly if you're using precision farming. Um, yeah, it's just really, it's very efficient in its use of lime. Let's say that. Um, if you watch my Greenlands Let's Play series, uh, 
I used this lime spreader to spread an absolutely monstrous field. Um, if you're familiar with Greenlands, it basically covers half of the wildland area at the bottom of the map. And I did it with one fill of this. I did not need to refill it at all. Um, that should give you an idea of how good this thing is. Um, and in the videos in my Let's Plays, I explain why it's so good. Um, for this, just be, take my word for it. Well, you'll see when I finish how much lime we've used, but this is the best way to do lime with precision farming or without the, uh, it, it's as good without precision farming. Um, it's just incredibly efficient with its lime usage. I am not entirely sure if that is intended um, and maybe we'll see an update to address that. But at the moment, it is very, very efficient with lime usage. Um, it's also quite nice because it's quite small and maneuverable. Um, and I typically, I would favor a three point outage spreader for lime and fertilizer. But this thing is actually pretty good. It's pretty maneuverable. Um, once we get on the up down rows with GPS, I will jump into the store and just check the price for you because I can't remember. So yeah, let's just quickly jump into the store. It is under fertilizer spreaders, and yeah, it's thirty-six thousand pounds. Requires hundred horsepower. Uh, with fertilizer, it's got a thirty-six meter working width. With lime, it's only a twelve meter working width. Um, it is not as efficient with fertilizer as it is with lime. It is just lime spreading that it is super efficient for. Um, so in fact, on my let's plays, if I'm using this, I only use it to spread lime. If I'm spreading fertilizer, I still use a three point mounted one just because I prefer those and you can get them with a much larger spread width. Uh, but for, for applying lime, even on really big fields, this is my recommendation. Yeah, it's quite narrow, 12 meter working width, but it's so efficient with lime. I'm, I keep saying it, I know. and. Uh, and basically just trying to fill the space while we do this um, in fact actually if you like this kind of video and you're not already subscribe to the channel um, and I also at this point I'm going to say thank you to my patreon members there is a link for that below and also for the YouTube channel members uh, both of which are scrolling past on the screen now all of you are really 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 appreciated really appreciate you supporting the channel still 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 blows my mind slightly that uh, people are happy to support me in that way for the stuff that I do but if you like this and you want to do that as well really really appreciate it you uh, you turn this grumpy old man into someone who is slightly less grumpy only slightly less grumpy uh, regulars to the channel will know I can really be quite a grumpy old man um, but I think you can kind of get the idea even now you know uh, we've used 400 liters of lime to do most of this field not the 6,000 liters of lime that was used with the base game spreader and the field is in exact was in exactly the same state so all I did was quit the game and reload uh, and you can see on the minimap below we're going from the kind of yellowy okay state to the green perfect state Um, yeah, I think the difference is obvious enough that this is not because, you know, I over applied lime with the other one or anything like that. Yeah, um, I will be back in a second because my phone is ringing. And so now just need to finish up this last row and we will be done. And in the time that I have been away, I have lost my little piece of paper with my notes on. So yeah, we can you can see you know we've used not we're going to use about 500 liters of lime rather than nearly 7,000 liters of lime so yeah if you are using precision for, or, or in general this is by far the best lime spreader that i have found in the game and if you combine it with the rock crusher for cheap lime this excuse me just makes applying lime so much easier uh, it's not the biggest field in the world but you know this field is going though this spreader would let you cover 24 of these fields nearly to give you an idea yeah definitely 
the way to go. Uh, so link is below for the Yan Lancer Maximus 12. Um, I would also say a quick thank you to Smock Farmer for pointing me in the direction of this guy because it is awesome. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. If you've got any questions, comment below. And if you aren't, think about subscribing to the channel. And I will catch you next time on FS22.